GI TV is brought to you by KWA, Gene G Armament, Operation Lion Claws, Palco Sports, ICS, and Javelin Airsoft Gunworks. Hi, GI TV. I'm Bob the X Man Hildebrand. Very happy to be back in studio and store here at Airsoft GI, and I'm very excited to be doing a manufacturer spotlight on. Elite Force. Now, many of you may or may not be aware, but Elite Force is a division of Umarex USA. Now, Umarex USA is very responsible for many top quality airsoft products, and Elite Force is no different. Now, Elite Force makes anything and everything from AEGs to gas blowbacks to a wide selection of BBs, as Tim has recently made me aware. Um, now, the great thing about Elite Force is that they're trying to get you a very high quality product, or at least a very high value product, for a very competitive price. Now what that means is that they're not necessarily going to get you uh, the greatest performing AG on the market. They're basically going to get you something for a price that's either entry level or mid level that is going to give you a very high quality product and something that has just about everything you need. Uh, now case in point is the Elite Force M4 CQB Sportline Carbine. Now this is a polymer body. It is very solid and it also does have a fully metal rail system and has rails along the entirety of the top. Flip up rear sights. Comes with two high caps, not just one. Has a crane stock, uh, which gives you a lot of extra space to put in different size batteries, and it is wired to the back, which I really appreciate. Uh, and I like a CQB length barrel, but this is the CQB Sportline, so that is inherent in the title. It also comes with full Elite Force trademarks, which is pretty awesome. I definitely really like the finish of this gun. It is one of the prettier guns that uh, I would expect, especially in this price range, which is two hundred dollars. Which is great, because I can afford that, especially with all these features on there that I would normally have anyway, uh, such as flip-up sights, the crane stock, and especially the rail system in the CQB link barrel. Uh, now we're going to test out the uh, feet per second to see how fast it shoots right here. Pretty awesome. All right, now let's move on to their gas blowbacks. This is the 1911A1. This is fully metal, uh, or is a full metal gas blowback. Uh, it has a threaded barrel. Uh, basically, the uh, orange tip is threaded. Uh, now, this gun uses 12 gram CO2 cartridges. We don't. Uh, we've just started to carry uh, quite quite a bit more of these, but I'm ecstatic because you can get 12 gram CO2, CO2 cartridges at a lot of sporting goods stores and a lot of different stores around the country. So that ammo is readily available, and also. This thing kicks like a mule. This is probably the hardest kicking pistol I've fired for airsoft, probably ever. But you know, hopefully there'll be more to come, but this one is awesome. So let me show you just a quick, maybe slow-mo demonstration right here. Right? Pretty awesome. Very excited. And also, this costs $105. That is a very good price for a very functional and very fun pistol to fire. Now, moving on are Elite Force BBs. Now, let's see, this is, these are 0.28 gram BBs, so there's 5,000 of this. These are 0.20 gram BBs, 5,000 this one as well. Uh, now, this costs about $18 for the 0.20 gram BBs and $25 for the 0.28 gram BBs. Uh, why 0.28, do you say? Uh, well, I didn't know until very recently. I normally only use .20s or .25s uh, if I'm sniping maybe .30s or .36s, uh, but apparently Tim makes, makes use of only .28s at all line clause events, uh, and I believe Bob versus Tim too, because we're in a high wind area. And he also found out, or at least related to me, that you can punch through foliage a lot better with .28s than you can with .2s or .25s. So, something I didn't know before, and apparently Tim's been rocking .28s for a long time, so highly suggested from Tim. But check out all the other BBs, because Elite Force makes a wide selection, and I really like uh, their container uh, in addition to their BBs, but uh, the parts that normally would snap off or break after you drop them are reinforced, so that's kind of nice, very thoughtful. So. I highly suggest you check out all Elite Force has to offer. Very, very good value for your money. I'm Bob the Axe Man Hildebrand, and this is GITV. I searched in the high life.
I searched in the low I've been looking for a good time All I found were blind I gone searching for life Hey, this is off GI TV. We'd like to thank Condor Outdoor, Elite Force, Contour Camera, Ares by Z-Shot, G-Code Holsters, and Vism by NC Star. I'm Deputy Joe Lamonico. On behalf of the LA County Sheriff's Department in association with Airsoft GI, I want to remind you that your Airsoft guns can be mistaken as actual firearms in public. I also want to remind you that never, ever take a firearm near a school.